I'm Mike Snyder. I'm Jefferson Graham. And I'm Ed Bag, and we're at CES where everybody asks us, what have you seen? What's excited you? And the big, most, most thrilling thing we would all agree are those big, beautiful 3D TVs. Going in, I think they wanted us to be wowed by 3D TV, and we were. But there's other things here at CES also. Right, we've got some highlights that we want to show you. Let's go take a look. I know there are millions of you out there who play rock band and guitar hero, and you've kind of wanted to learn how to play guitar. Well, the U-Rock guitar comes out next month for $179.95, and here's what it looks like. There's no buttons here. It's more like playing a real guitar, touch-sensitive, color-coded frets, and so you play along with the game. But it's more than just a guitar controller. It is actually a real guitar. So you can learn how to play guitar. You can also learn how to play along with some of your favorite songs, because there's a, it comes with 25 songs on a program. It's playing Nirvana right now. Learn how to play the song. If you hit a bad note, it'll tell you. Will doesn't do that very much, but... So you see, does it, it, the, the notes didn't come out right, so you're learning how to play the song along with it. Also, if you like to play with GarageBand, this will hook up to your computer. You can make music, compose music. The U-Rock Guitar Controller comes out next month, $179.95. You can check it out and see if you really rock. So here's the product that I remember most fondly from the CES. It's called the Sony Dash. It's an alarm clock for the future. Sony calls it a personal internet viewer. We all probably have fond memories of the Sony Dream Machine alarm clock, the beautiful little white cube that really helped popularize a, a great clock radio. This is the next clock radio. There have been a lot of devices out there over the past few years from like Chumpy and Logitech. This, is, this goes another step. This is $200, it, it'll be out in April. It's an alarm clock, it's a weather machine, it's, a, uh, it's an email reader, it's a digital photo frame, it has all these apps that you can connect to uh, that it helps it expand. It's a connected device that you put on your nightstand and has the world at your fingertips. I think a lot of people are gonna get a big kick out of it. CES is a madhouse, but you'd never know it. I found a little quiet space here where I'm doing some reading. And it's quite convenient to do so at this show because ebook readers are one of the hot categories at CES. And I've got one of the devices a lot of people, including me, have been waiting for, and that's the Plastic Logic Q. Now it's paper thin, as you can see here, and it has an eight and a half by 11 form factor. Now unlike, say, Amazon's Kindle, which is more about reading bestsellers, this device is targeted at the business user. So you can read a bunch of business periodicals, you can read a lot of newspapers and magazines, Forbes, the Wall Street Journal, and yes, USA Today, we are a partner as well. And they do a terrific job of preserving the look and feel of the newspaper and magazine layout on here. Now, it is going to set you back a little bit of change. It costs up to $800 for a device with more storage and 3G wireless access that complements the Wi-Fi access that is on this device, as well as a cheaper version. So guys, let's talk about 3D for a minute. Yes, the sets are beautiful. The big question is, will people really spend the money in this recession for bigger, more expensive TVs? Well, I think that's the question. I mean, you may have just bought your own first HD TV, and now you're being asked to upgrade. I mean, the studios need it, and the content providers and the TV manufacturers need it because they're not making enough money. But will we buy them? What do you think, Ed? I think there's a lot of reason for skepticism here. And let's talk about price being one of them, but you also have those funky glasses you have to buy. And if you've got a family of four, you've got to outfit your whole family with glasses. If you've got guests over, programming is another big issue. Yeah, well, I, I just think the cost. I, I, I think people would really love to see them in, in, the, uh, in, in the store. I just don't see a lot of people rushing out in that first year or second year to pay a big premium for 3D TV. Well, I mean, obviously they go to movie theaters for 3D. I mean, Avatar is the biggest thing right now. The question is, when Avatar comes out on home video, are you going to want to buy a TV and buy glasses and, every, and a new Blu-ray player to watch that at your house? And I don't think we know that yet. Yeah. I, consider me a skeptic. Ed, where are you? I'm a skeptic too, but let's give them a couple of props here. There is going to be some programming. ESPN is going to have a channel. Discovery Channel is going to have a 3D channel. And movies... The Blu-ray folks have gotten together, there's going to be standards, so you'll be able to see Blu-ray 3D movies. But pricing is a big issue. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. For, for USA Day, I'm Jefferson Graham. I'm Mike Schneider.
And I'm Ed Bank. And we'll catch you next year. Bye-bye.